All right, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Priyan Chagarwal, and in this video, I am going to tell you about a CP sheet that I have personally created by spending 80 plus hours reading 1500 plus problem statements from Code Forces. Because when you go onto these platforms like Code Forces, Code Chef, there are so many problems available that it is absolutely overwhelming to you know figure out that this problem is interesting, this problem is not so interesting, right? So as a competitive programmer, we want to solve problems that involve concepts that are reusable and at the same time, these problems should be very, very interesting, right? And other than that, we also want to be solving problems which are new, which are trendy. Like if you look at problems that were being asked five years ago, the same problems or the similar problems are not being asked today. So there are some problem sets available on the internet, uh, such as the CSES problem set, the A2OJ ladder. There are certain issues with these uh, problem sets and sheets that I have tried to fix with my own CP sheet. For example, when you look at the CSES problem set, that sheet involves very, very standard ideas and that helps you learn a lot of concepts, right? But those problems are not that interesting. While Codeforce's problems are not that direct, even though they use those same standard concepts, but the problems are much more interesting. Now, if you look at the A2OJ ladder, the problems in that sheet are very old, right? Even though some of them are relevant today, but most of them are irrelevant. Now, in order to solve all of these problems, I have come up with my own CP sheet, which is known as the CP31 sheet. And the sheet is perfect for two kinds of people. Firstly, absolute beginners, and secondly, people who are targeting to become expert on code forces. Now, how did I choose these problems? So first of all, I went to code forces. I applied a rating filter of whichever rating problems I wanted to choose. So now if you look at the order of these problems, the top problems are those which have been recently asked in any of the code forces contest, right? So as you keep going down, you know, the problems become older and older. So what I did is that I went from the top and I started reading every single problem statement. For example, I went on to this problem, then this, then this, so on. Let's suppose I went to this problem, make it white. What I would do is that I would read the entire problem statement. And if I find the problem statement to be very interesting, if I find the ideas in this problem to be very interesting, and if I know for a fact that these ideas are reusable in other concepts, what I would do is that I would pick up this problem and I would include it into my CP sheet, right? Now, if you look at this entire CP sheet, I have noted down the ideas for every single problem that I have chosen here. For example, if you look at all the sheets here, all of them have ideas that, okay, what are the ideas being used in this problem? For example, if you look at this sheet, then here, this talks about, you know, cycles and bamboos in a graph. So what do we know about the CP sheet? Firstly, it contains problems that are very interesting. Secondly, it contains ideas that are reusable. Thirdly, it contains problems which are new. These are not old problems. Now you might say, Priyansh, you have chosen these problems, but why should we trust you? Who are you? For that, let me tell you that, you know, uh, I have been into competitive programming for almost 3.5 years. Like I have actively done competitive programming. Additionally, I have been teaching competitive programming to students at TLE Eliminators and I've taught more than 5,000 students in the last three years. And in terms of the number of problems that I've done, so just on code forces, I have solved 2000 problems, right? And if you combine all the problems on these competitive programming platforms, I have solved more than 3,500 problems on all these CP platforms. So based on that, I have gone through every single problem statement and have handpicked every problem myself. Now, obviously it took a very, very long time to choose these problems. I have spent more than 80 hours simply going through problem statements, reading 1500 plus problem statements and choosing those problems which are actually very important. Now, you might also say that Priyansh, you have chosen 31 problems in each rating. Uh, why is that 31 number coming into the picture? So firstly, you know, uh, 31 is primarily from my handle, which is Priyansh31deck, right? So many of you might know about my handle. And secondly, a reason why we have chosen 31 problems is because if you solve one problem every single day, then in just one month, you would have completed one rating range. For example, if you solve one problem from 800 rating range every single day, then by the end of the month of 31 days, you would have completed this entire, you know, uh, section of 800 rating. Now the question is, how should you actually approach this CP sheet, right? Firstly, if you're an absolute beginner, if you haven't done any CP, first of all, I would recommend you to explore code forces, explore online judges. Once you're done doing that, then I would recommend you to start from this 800 rating range. As you increase the rating, the difficulty of the problems also increases, right? So as a complete beginner, you should start directly from 800, okay? Now, if you're somebody who is, let's suppose, 1200 rated on code forces, I would recommend you to start solving problems from your rating minus 200 from the sheet. For example, if you're 1200 on code forces, I would recommend you to start from 1000 rating problems, not from 1200, okay? Because even if you look at problems which are easier for you, they would teach you a lot of new concepts. Now, one more thing that I want to tell you is that this is not a new sheet. I haven't created this sheet yesterday. I created this sheet back in December. I released it on 31st December. And if you look at the number of people who are trying out the sheet, 
this number is constantly growing and it is growing at a very fast pace like i know for a fact right now that every single day at least 100 new people are coming and trying out the cp sheet what i can tell you is that if you go on to these platforms like linkedin twitter you know and even on youtube so many people are writing about it and saying that you know i completed this section of the cp sheet and i absolutely loved it right there are some people who are actually creating videos on youtube and sharing their solutions for the cp sheet right so let me also tell you about the future plans with the cp sheet right now it includes problems from 800 rating to 1600 rating so it is more like a newbie to expert sheet right but i also want to include problems which are going from 1700 rating all the way up till 1900 rating so that it becomes a complete sheet from newbie to candidate master now one thing that i want to tell you here is that choosing problems here requires a lot of time okay i've spent a huge amount of time on the cp sheet so if there are people who are not interested then i would not want to invest so much time into creating or picking up problems from 1700 rating to 1900 rating another thing that i will be doing with the cp sheet is that all these ideas that you look at here like all these ideas that i have written i am going to be including these ideas also in the cp sheet as hints or as tags right and after we are done pushing these hints and tags we are also going to be making dedicated video solutions for every single problem here in the cp sheet now all of this is only going to happen when i see that you guys are actually solving these problems and you're actually finding it useful right so if you go on to twitter if you go on to linkedin and if you post about it and if you tell me about your progress that is how i would realize that okay the sheet is being used by so many people and that is why i need to be spending more time on it right apart from that just to make sure that all of these problems in the cp sheet are relevant we are going to be updating the problems every single year right so along this entire year of 2024 if we find that there are some problems which are more interesting or more important we are going to also include those problems into the cp sheet if you want to try out the cp sheet the link is present in the description or you could directly go on to our website tlelimitators and you would find the sheet